Peace, love, and light to all my carbon beings out there. Um, dang, messed my fingers up. I've been dead, but dang, it's trying to. This was last, I think last week. Well, trying to pull up a window, a, a female's car. But yeah, I just thought about something. Well, it's a video of this brother named, uh, uh, what's his name? Enoch. The Prince. No, Enoch Freestyle Prince. Enoch Freestyle Prince. It was a video he was, that, that I, was, I was already aware of, though. You know, about, uh, you know, be careful who you hang around. You know, and then a lot of them can, you know, get your energy. Especially these orcs when I made a comment on that, uh, on his video. He liked it. It's just the thing is, of him, he just so loving and seemed so caring about these orcs, though. Like, they all ain't the same as us. They not, and then I don't want, and then I don't care what these orcs or, or, or you know, especially these orcs say. You're making it about color. I don't even talk to them. I used to when I, you know, used to, used to just give them straight facts. But like, even on my short video, I said, us people we gotta stop, you know, stop giving our energy to these orcs, and I was that was correct. You know, why would we give? Our energy to these orcs. But the main thing is. I was going to touch on that. And I was going to touch this video. Before my older, other phone. Got jacked up. And, and I'm working on. Tapping into my past. I'm still got to work on that. Though. Still got to work on that. Um, but the thing is. That I heard. This was a while ago. That. I was Seamus' right hand man. I was his right hand man. I just couldn't get that out of my head. I was his right hand man from our past lives. Seamus had told me this a while ago. I was his right hand man. Now think about it. Even before, I really don't want to mention names, but. Hmm. Hakil also made a comment and told me I was with them too. I was there. I was along with them. I guess they right hand man as well. And I knew it. And I always felt though. Did you know how they say when you walk and you see somebody? I'm pretty sure I have seen them. Not seeming them. I, I mean, in a way, even before it happened, I told Hakel that. I said, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if I probably saw Seaman back in the past, like before. And, and I felt like I'm pretty sure I saw Hakel too, in the back, back in the past. Like it's like when you talk to him, you just, you just feel this energy, you feel that vibe, like you had this connection. Feeling like, man, something about him, I felt like I seen him before somewhere. You know. I mean, as far as the flesh, you know, we in, we get into different fleshes. Like we, like when we, it, like I said, the flesh die. Of course, your soul and your spirit remains always the same. You know, it's um, immortal. So you are going to go above the cosmos, and then you are going to go into another family, and then go into another flesh, but have that same soul and spirit within you. But I was like, wow. And, and it kind of surprised me. I'm just thinking to myself, man. I was Seema's right hand man. Anything he told me to do, I did it. It was never mentioned me mentioned to me like this before. It was never mentioned before. Somehow, I'm pretty sure the cosmos gave him, told him, because the cosmos knows everything. Prime Creator, she knows everything. She ain't the only one. Of course, you Gaia. Um, and I'm pretty sure Kai and our ancestors is up there too. But the cosmos. I was his right hand man. And if he was mentioned in the Bible, which is the Bible, isn't parables, so I know. 
if I'm not mistaken, if he was the priest, the leader, as we see, and he had a right hand man. But it kind of reminded me of the Most High, even though the Most High, as they got in that Bible, was Zeus. But if that was the case, it's kind of explaining something that he had a right hand man sitting on the right hand side of him. It was a scripture because you know I was I was into that Bible like that. I was just picking scripture, bang bang bang. But yeah, wow. So he had a right man sitting in the right. He had a man sitting on his right hand side. So that I'll say that seemed like that's me. Even talking about it, I get happy. But man, and I felt like I was one of the leader warriors. In my past, I kind of felt like I said, man, a lot of stuff that I do, I felt even the dream realms I had me fighting battles and putting out work, just fucking shit up. Even you see certain. Of people in your dream that you felt like you know them, but you never seen them before. Because <laughs> there are, I'll say, souls that are above in different realms. They was in different. They are different realms. Somehow I keep seeing these orcs, but I'm I'm trying to have full control of my dream realm. I didn't have a dream of this orc for some time, which is good. But I'm willing when I see these motherfuckers. And I dream have if I beam if I come out of my body and go to the co- certain parts of the realm of cosmos, I'll say I want to destroy you. I want to destroy you. And I do feel this this and I feel the ending comes coming. I don't know the um tongue twist like a mother, I'm sorry. And I do feel the ending times coming near closer. I see the signs, yes I do. It is like yo, nowadays I try to speak. What is I'm sharing a message out here. And it's like speaking to the walking dead. To certain our people. Dude. And there's some reason. I always got to be. Remain careful how I. Put this message out. Because you have. Gang stalkers out here. That's willing to listen. They pretend not to listen. But as you go. I, I can tell. I can try to feel the energy. And feel the sense is like, dang, this this don't feel right. I'm being approached. I feel like I'd be approached every time I'm outside. If I was one of these lost souls out here, I wouldn't be approached like this. Not unless if they come, you know, by my looks. You know. You know, stealing my energy. And in time I do be something, I was like, dang, you going near someone, especially if I'm speaking, speaking powerful words. And they see that light within me, especially when I have my mind tuned into nature. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not going to carry this video so long. I'm still going to make more videos. I'm just in the house for now. I was out in the sun, sun gazing again. I don't want to call it sweat, but I had liquid on me. Took a nice fresh shower. But I'm going to have this in my mindset, though. It has this power within me. Make sure I go to tap into my past life. Focus on that dearly. I'm going to have to remain focused. Got to work on that more. If I do, I probably see the same visions of this. As the cosmos might show me, show me. So I can understand, okay, this is you, you know. Even though this is you ain't look like this back then, but I'm showing this is you and this is what you was doing. And I might have some, I might have visions of certain people on here too, of our melanin people. Maybe Cosmos might show me I was a uh, seamless right hand man, and I kind of felt though, man. Now to think about it, yeah, because a lot of stuff I'm doing, dang, do this, do that. I've been moving here, I've been moving here, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. That kind of lines apart with I'm, you know, my past life. I felt like I knew I was something. I know I knew I was a warrior. I knew it. I just don't want these people to take my kindness and my weakness because they see because I look strong on the outside, but the inside, with the in the inside, they said, "Man, like a little small and as a child." No, I want that. I want my inner inner guy that's within me to be just like my out. I don't got it.
take me for no weakness. Nope. But yes. I have heard this a while ago. Then I was going to make a video. I was Seema's right hand man. Everything he told me to do, I did it. Uh, so I said I was speaking in the Bible. So I'm in that Bible. Right hand man. Ain't that amazing? I'm not feeling cocky about it. But, shall I say, when all this falls and crumbles down, when you put out this work out here, and I should say, this will grow back up evenly, as it should. Maybe this might get thicker. I just got this brush down. So the energy will be pulling in my bear heavily again. It keeps doing it. It's, I'm like, ah, it be like this. Heavy energy. But for some reason, it's just like, <laughs> gotta be careful with these orcs, man. I mean, much as certain people who try to help them out and stuff, don't what you need to help them out. Don't give them, like I said, don't give your energy to them. Using you like Wi Fi. Don't give your energy out to them. And I ain't gonna lie, there's times when I'm not sleep. I can't sleep like I used to. I got so much energy, I, I stays up. And when I, times I walk out, I can walk to different places. All the man, just keep my mind, put my mind on nature, put music on, like I said, said before and before and before. It's just some reason. You know, I help a lot of people. Like certain people that's out there, like I said, one brother, one brother. Age number, the number, like I said in my other video, it's just illusional. He was just like 30, 27, me. You know, 7 plus 2 equals 9. 9 either, 9 either. Hmm. 3. You know, 33, and that's 0 cosmic 0 number. Shoot, 3, I mean, 6, 6, 6. 3, 6, 9. Ain't that something? 7 plus 2 is 9, right? 3, 3, 3 equals 9. 9 upside down 6, as y'all know. 6, 9, you know. So, I'm walking, minding my business. I believe I said this before. I just taking a walk somewhere. I'm just walking around. Just walk. I, I take long walks at times too. I just want to clear my mind out. I'm seeing his brother on this white car. He had his shirt off, like I do. Um, I thought he was fixing a tire, like on his car. And I'm walking past, but then as I'm walking, I look on my left side, and I'm seeing him laying there. And then he was he just, you know, moving a little bit like this. And, Sitting there, he got his shoe off. I'm like, something, something is not right with his brother. I can sense the energy, but I felt like, dang, let me keep going. He'd probably be all right. But as I was going down the street, cars and stuff coming through, some certain of them could didn't see him like that. But when they did got closer, they swerved around him. But as I stopped and I was looking, saying to my inner self, you know, here in my mouth, like, yo, like, yo, this guy, what's going on? Why is he out here? What's going on with this guy? What is wrong with him? Something's not right. And I said, these cars, man, they're going to end up hitting them, man. Just like they did to some other guy around my way. Guy was high on wet. Made, made, uh, he crossed over. It was his fault. A, a Chrysler 300 John came through. It was the elder brother that saw the witness too. He was behind me, so he saw he saw a little more than I did. So I, I'm hearing what he's saying, so I'm speaking out. It hit him so hard, it made him flew off his bike, flew halfway in the middle of the street. Bike flew on up all the way to the left and broke his bike. But thank goodness the guy's okay. So that remind me, I had a flashback on that. I'm like, man, wait a minute. So this guy, I want to see this guy getting hit. He's a brother. I said, oh, I got to go back. I got to go see this guy, all right? I'm walking to this guy. I'm looking at him. Looking at his face. All you notice, 
right here, this was swelling, and it was a gash. It had blood all across him down his face. I'm like, oh, man, brother. I said, you all right, brother? Even though I should have said he's not. Wow, I know sometimes. I'm like, you all right? But that's what I said. He said, yeah. I said, what's wrong with you? What happened? And when he said he high, he was drinking. See, this is probably two days from 400 years that Jews that lied since they put 4th of July. So two days from there, they turn up, you drink, smoke. But don't think twice on what could happen after this. Who could see you and might think you somebody else or these archon spirits can come on woman around and go and jump on somebody and then see you and then get you, catch you slipping. So I go over there and I said, I may help you up. He said, help me. I picked him up on his underarms. He had some blood on his hands and stuff. I said, I ain't want to touch his hand. I'm like, oh, no, I don't know what's, you know, which is plasma. Blood is actually plasma. But I so said, shoot, I'm talking to him and I'm just letting him be careful and stuff. So I'm like, dang, what made you turn up like this? Why you get so high? What were you drinking? He was drinking Hennessy. Not to put his business out there. You know, speaking truth. He was drinking Hennessy. I said, oh, gosh, I see. And I heard Papa Legba. If you do a ritual altar with Papa Legba, he like Hennessy. You got to make an offering. Get three candles, they say. I know what Papa Legba look like. I got pictures of him. They made movies of Papa Legba. He's an elder brother. You know, speaks a lot of, he speaks every language. So Hennessy, I thought about Hennessy. I said, dang, that's what Papa Legba like. He has Hennessy. You know, you like you like three candles, number three, um, maybe I think two, three dice, two, I think two dices. They say he likes some candy. Um, his favorite color, they say, even though I don't like saying be black, black, but it's dark. Well, I'm gonna say black and red. That's my color too. He like that, and he like rice and beans. I think rice and beans and chicken. So I heard when you do this altar, you want anything you want him to do. Oh, tell him what you want. But give him an offer first. And then he'll do what you do. He's the he's the uh, master. I think he, they said he's... He holds the keys of the crossroads. He holds the key of the crossroads. You, some of them you can go... Uh, they serve people who go out on the crossroads. You can meet them there. He might have two dogs with him. You know, dogs is not indigenous here, I say. For some reason, got two dogs, when they say, and dressing, I think, in a certain suit with a hat on, red, black. Even though I, I don't like saying black, but black is not the colors. Um, yeah, and he, he can turn into, a, as they call it, demonic force. He's like, like a, a dark demon. I think that's, I heard that's his original form, you know, with the horns on his head. He real dark. And, you know, that stuff. If you look up Papa Legba, you see him. You don't know what I'm talking about, Papa Legba. The dad thought about the Hennessy stuff. I said, man, so the brother drunk, so he drunk. I, think, I know he drunk a lot. And he said he was high. So I picked him up. I was about to shake his hand. I forgot. Like, oh, shoot, you got blood in here. I can't shake your hand. Give him a little bump, boom. A bump on his arm. I'm talking about him some about wisdom. You know, I'm getting him, you know, I'm breaking it down about the four, 400 years. I'm talking about, about his children. Because he said he got children. I said, you know, go see your children, brother. You don't need to be out here. What you doing out here like this? He said he just want to walk around and stuff. He, I asked him, well, sir, did he live around this area? He's like, no, he just, you know, he want to turn up, have fun. I'm like, listen, don't get so jacked up out this joint. You're not constantly focused, brother. You got to focus out here, brother. He glad I came through. He thanked me. But it's, it's just like the, 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 I don't want to say this, but the dumb look our people have when they don't understand a lot what you're saying. They will look at you. With a dumb look like. And as I was speaking to him, he was kind of looking like that. And I asked him some questions. He didn't answer. I said, okay, fine. But it's like when I say certain things to him, he stood there like he was just that dumb look. But, you know, 
stuff like that. I'm talking to him and stuff. I keep talking to him. I'm with him for a minute. But the thing about it is, he jacked his finger. I think he broke his middle finger. Because he told me he tripped and fall. That's the thing. Always oh, keep your pants up and put a belt on it to tighten around your waist. Not below your waist. Always have your pants pulled up and have a belt with you. They sort of baggy or have pants that can fit you real good. That's the two options. So I was talking to the brother. Be careful. I even asked him. I said, brother. I said, now, since you learn your mistakes. And I wasn't throwing them in like that. I was just passionate, passionate about it. I said, brother, when you do this, you mess your, you mess your head up. Your right head was, it was, it was swollen. The gash with blood coming out, kept touching. I said, brother, make sure you stop touching you. Stop touching. You just, I mean, basically, I said, you don't want to put no bacteria or anything on you. And then you, at that, I just thought I'm thinking about it now. You're touching the street. The street got all this stuff and stuff. People spitting dust, anything that could be in the street. And you putting your finger, palms, and you touching your skin. And that can go inside your brain and get your brain damaged. And you, Jack, you fell on your face. Luckily that I came to the rescue. If I wasn't out here, anything can happen. Or he would have possibly still been in luck. But since I came here, I helped him. And you know, sir, our people, you see him, you see people like this. I'm pretty, pretty sure see people see you, they walk past you. And then they don't stop at all. The action, it's you okay. Now, luckily, I was thinking about doing it. I said, dang, I'm just trying to keep my distance. Then I thought, at least I have the sympathy to stop. It was an orc. <sighs> Looked at him. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and kept going. It was an orc. <sighs> I don't give a damn about them. People told some call 911. <laughs> Shit. No, I ain't call 911. Shoot. They, since that time, since a lot of them, since they would have come with us, uh, 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 take their time coming with us at the time, call the ambulance, whatever. They take their time. They probably actually our identity, is, even though we're not black and all that, we're not African Americans, we're not that. That's illusional. Actually, uh, is he a black guy? What do you got on? And it's like when you notice, you tell them that, they'll take their sweet time and shit. And then motherfuckers, some of them could be around the corner and shit, take their sweet old time. And don't take this shit, shit, shit seriously. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's a white dude. That's how I've seen most of the jargon. They'll come quick. Especially if they working, if you're cops or anything. Oh, they come in a hurry. They come with a squad team. And guess what? It's the weakest shit. But I did help that brother, though. He wanted to go to Temple Hospital. I walked with him. Make sure he was all right. I said, I'm going to walk with you. First, he said he was going to go to his girl house, which I don't should say girl, but... Walk to his woman house. But I always told him. I asked him that question. Brother, since you learned your lesson, would you drink like that again? And do this again? He said, yeah. I was like, yeah. I said, you see what happened to you today? Why would you do it again? And it might happen again or it might be worse. Why would you want to do that, bro? Think about it. You got to think. But he went to the hospital. Walk to the hospital. Even though certain things I was trying to tell him, you know, we can work on ourselves. We are our own doctors. We are, are our own healers. We heal ourselves. Meditation. You know, go within you. Eat fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, wheat, or whatever. You can have an apple. If you can't have all the things, get, get something. If it's natural from nature. Get, some, get an apple. Get some apples if you can. Or we can get some oranges. Either or, if you got all of them, you can get them all. But I'm glad he went to the hospital. I'm pretty sure he's okay, though. But, yeah. I just did that video about Seema. I just wanted to mention. I heard I was his right-hand man. I was back in his past life. I was there with him. And that's what I want to tap on and see more information. I want to focus and meditate on that. I want to do that. Talk to the cosmos. I want to really have this mentally in my head. I want to know more about me. Uh, anything else. Put my, my, my mind, soul, and spirit into this. I have to. I don't want to force it, though. But just do it. 
That's the key. Peace, love, and light to all my carbon, carbon celestial energy beings all across the globe. Peace to y'all. We got next. Much love. You know, be safe. I'm out of here.